Welcome to the What the Guru Podcast for September 13th, 2023. We're going to do a tropical update here and as well as the hazards for the lower 48. But we're starting off with tropical update courtesy of tropicaltidbits.com and the National Hurricane Center. We're looking at Hurricane Lee here spinning out here in the Atlantic. As you can see, it's weakened slightly and the wind field is broadened though. So it's weakened to a Category 2, winds around 105 miles an hour. You're looking at the infrared satellite picture here. You can see the coldest cloud tops are surrounding the eye wall. There's been an explosion of convection around the eye. However, it is open. The eye is open to the northwest and uh and it is open and exposed eye as well as some central dense overcast the clouds in the eye have muddied the waters there is not as clear as it was down to this uh, that kind of stadium effect it had when it was a category three four or five even but nonetheless it has great outflow here um pattern here and a great strong uh convection here mostly to the south and southeast of the system and then that core of the eye ring that is open there as it may be going through an eyewall replacement cycle nevertheless Hurricane Lee is formidable still as a Category 2 with winds of 105 miles an hour. Minimum central pressure down to 952 millibars. It's moving north-northwest at 10 miles an hour, so it has picked up the pace a little bit. Maybe starting to feel the effects of the trough off the east coast here that's going to be able to push it north and then eventually northeast um, as it curves around that, that uh, jet stream there. Now, uh, there is uh, coastal concerns, obviously, for the Cape Cod, Massachusetts, and up through New England area there. Could be some coastal flooding alerts. I'm sure they've issued all of that, as well as some... Um, impacts there but nothing too um, extreme as they're going to be on the western side of this system and Lee is going to be weakening as it moves further north in the cooler waters. Now for Bermuda here uh, they're going to experience a tropical storm conditions maybe went to 30 to 50 miles an hour uh, for a time being but they're going to be on the southern side and on the eastern side the dirty side but they're far enough away where the tropical storm wind shouldn't cause much of a problem for there but surf will be dangerous there waves breaking 8 to 10 feet inside the reef outside the reef obviously 30, 30 feet waves are possible but however they should be able to survive okay so all in all we're blessed that lee is staying far away from the east coast and far away from bermuda so it doesn't cause much damage just the general high surf condition that you should experience you know for this type of system so that is excellent news here for all of the all of the parties involved as you can see here the official track here um now when it does make landfall in Nova Scotia, somewhere between Halifax or it could be Nova Scotia, New Finland, somewhere up there, Maine will be affected. Ball Harbor, Maine, and some places will be affected by that. Right now, they have tropical storm hurricane watches issued for Maine coastline down, and tropical storm watches issued through New Hampshire, Massachusetts coastline, and into Long Island, back toward Long Island Sound and Connecticut. However, as the system continues to advance north, they'll fine-tune those warnings, of course, as the system is still uncertain as to where it would hit. It could, it could entirely miss the United States and hit just Halifax and Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island, or it could, you know, come curve back to the west on the western side of this cone track and that would mean more impacts obviously but even if it does come on the western side of this cone pack at the most you're looking at tropical storm conditions for the new england area along with some coastal flooding but nothing too extreme as their damage would be with a nor'easter that was coming directly into the northeast so that's the good news the wind field has broadened though that's one thing those hurricane force winds have expanded here in the cone as you noticed here and those as the system it broadens out that means it's weakening um it's still going to maintain hurricane status but the wind field is broadening the eye is widening as i just shown you here now we have hurricane force winds extending out uh, i'm gonna get the exact figures here from you from the hurricane center. there we go hurricane winds extend out upwards of 115 miles now 115 miles from the center tribal storm winds extended out 105 100 and, um, 265 miles from the center so um, it's obvious that uh, tropical storm conditions are possible in coastal New England on Friday night. So that's where we'll begin to see that. Now, looking at the national picture here, a great day today. Great fall weather in the upper Midwest and the New Orleans East. We're getting closer to fall, as you can know, this, this fall equinox on uh, September 21st. But there's been some flood watches issued here in the New England area um, from Wellminster. They've already had flooding in Massachusetts. They're not related to Lee coming, but elsewhere flooding. So our prayers are with them. But they've extended those warnings, as you can see. And there's some flood warnings here. And um, what watches I should say in New Mexico for those monsoonal season but monsoonal season is almost ending there's only 10 days left for this monsoonal season for the southwest American southwest so they're happy to have that done elsewhere it's just clear everywhere clear so Lee is the main thing in town but Lee is not going to be affecting anybody here that much it's just going to be kind of a storm that we we'll have to watch and see uh, what happens with it now um, you know it's not nothing that nothing that most people can't handle um, tropical storm conditions here so this all the information on Lee the consensus models look it has it going there uh, the center of the storm as you know impacts can happen outside the cone as they say and all that but listen the center of the storm is heading toward prince edwards island and nova scotia have a halifax nova scotia by that time it might even weaken towards a category one so you're looking at about 90 miles an hour winds maximum on this thing um but you know still you want to be prepared because it could be rains flooding rains and lightning and all kind of things um happening 
as it moves further north as you can see here then it's going to curve off to the northeast and out to the sea it's extra tropical here as you can see and all the consensus models agree where it was going here on this model so that's what we have going on here on all the ensemble models all that was where it's going to uh, so it's going to be feeling the effects of that trough and then of course the intensity like i said is going to drop tremendously here um, as it continues north it's going to drop to a cat 2 which is now down to a cat 1 and by landfall it should be between a minimum cat 1 maybe a 75 80 mile an hour hurricane by the time it gets past maine and all of that and then it's going to continue to drop from there so that's the deal only now we also have other storms out here too but there's nothing really affecting land guys uh, uh ladies and gentlemen there's only a couple storms that margo is out here it's just going to meander as a, as a fish storm hurricane um hundreds of miles west of the azores then we have this thing here that's going to become the next system uh this is a 90 percent chance of development so this is going to become your next tropical storm here um and that's going to be the name i believe it end name i forgot the name lmn yeah end name i forgot the name of what's end name but it's gonna be the end name storm here this will be a tropical storm by tomorrow here or the by tomorrow and then it'll be a tropical storm by later on tomorrow night midnight so that's giving the chance it's moving um west northwestward so it's moving that same trajectory here all of these systems are feeling the effect of that big old bermuda azores high here and uh, there's a trough here that's going to push lee up as you can see it right there so you can see what's going on there and you can see this is going to continue moving west northwestward as a fish storm um it's, if, it, if it manages to last long enough time to get into the central atlantic uh, north of the islands it's going to experience some upwelling from lee the cooler water's pulled up so it may not be as strong as forecast but in any, in any event it could become a hurricane here this end name storm again but like i said it's moving in that west northwest with the in the same direction as Lee, and so it could experience that upwelling there. So, you know, that may limit some development, but we'll see. And then there's also the dust factor here and the uh, wind shear factor here that's going to be coming across here. There's some wind shear that's going to be blowing across here too as well. So we'll see what happens with the end name storm. But this is all we have going on, Tropical, guys. Have a blessed day. I'll talk to you tomorrow.